Hello to everyone and this is Inrik and KU. Our discussion on confined space is divided into four parts. In each part, we will be addressing common questions and providing relevant answers based on standards such as OSHA, Aramco, and NFPA. By doing so, we aim to provide a comprehensive understanding of confined space and its associated hazards, as well as the necessary safety measures to protect workers who may be required to work in such environments. In Parts 1, 2 and 3, link in description, we address the questions related to confined spaces and provided right and short answers from OSHA and Aramco guidelines and standards. Parts 1, 2 and 3 mainly covered questions related to confined space hazards, control measures, testing equipment, gas tester, lighting lux, fire extinguishers, winch system, and rescue tripod. In this part, we shall address the following questions related to confined spaces oxygen level oxygen deficiency symptoms, gas limits, temperature, carbon dioxide limits, carbon monoxide limits and key safety points as per OSHA and Aramco. Q1. What are the oxygen level requirements for confined spaces? The Occupational Safety and Health Administration. OSHA and Aramco both have requirements for oxygen levels. In confined spaces to ensure the safety of workers, According to OSHA the minimum acceptable oxygen level in a confined space is 19.5% If the oxygen level falls below this level, it can cause workers to experience symptoms of hypoxia, dizziness rapid heartbeat and impaired judgment, which can lead to accidents. Aramco's requirement for oxygen levels in confined spaces are similar to OSHA's with a minimum acceptable level of 19.5%. However, Aramco also requires that the oxygen level not exceed 23.5% to prevent the risk of fire or explosion. It's important to note that other factors such as toxic gases and inadequate ventilation can also be hazards. Confined spaces and proper safety procedures, such as testing the atmosphere before entering and using appropriate personal protective equipment should always be followed. Q2. What are the symptoms of oxygen deficiency in a confined space? According to OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and Aramco, the Saudi Arabian oil and gas company the symptoms of oxygen deficiency in a confined space include 1. Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing 2. Rapid heartbeat or palpitations 3. Dizziness or lightheadedness 4. Headache 5. Confusion or disorientation 6. Fatigue or weakness 7. Nausea or vomiting 8. Sweating 9. Tingling or numbness in fingers, toes, or lips. 10. Loss of coordination or balance. 11. Loss of consciousness or fainting, in severe cases. It is important to note that oxygen deficiency can be life-threatening, and immediate action should be taken to remedy the situation if symptoms are observed. Q3. What are the gas limits for confined spaces as per OSHA and Aramco? OSHA and Aramco have established gas limits for confined spaces to help protect workers from the harmful effects of toxic and flammable gases. Here's a brief overview of the gas limits for confined spaces as per OSHA and Aramco. OSHA, OSHA's Confined Spaces Standard, 29 CFR 1910.146, requires employers to test the atmosphere in a confined space for three specific types of gases before workers enter, oxygen content, flammability, and toxicity. The standard sets the following limits for these gases. Oxygen content, the minimum acceptable oxygen level in a confined space is 19.5% and the maximum acceptable oxygen level is 23.5%. Flammability, the lower explosive limit. LEL, for flammable gases in a confined space is 10% of the gas's lower explosive limit or less, depending on the specific gas. Toxicity, OSHA has established permissible exposure limits, PELs, for a variety of toxic gases that may be present in confined spaces, such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, and ammonia. The PELs vary depending on the gas and the duration of exposure. Aramco, 
Aramco's Environmental Protection Standards, EPS, 012007, Confined Space Entry, sets the following gas limits for confined spaces. Oxygen Content The oxygen concentration must be maintained between 19.5% and 23.5% to prevent the risk of fire or explosion. Flammability the level for flammable gases in a confined space must not exceed 10% of the gas's lower explosive limit. Toxicity, Aramco's EPS 01007 lists specific exposure limits for various toxic gases that may be present in confined spaces, such as hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, and chlorine. The exposure limits vary depending on the gas and the duration of exposure. It's important to note that these gas limits are not the only factors to consider when working in a confined space. Employers should also take into account the physical characteristics of the space, the presence of other hazardous materials, and the use of appropriate personal protective equipment and safety procedures. Q4. What are the CO2 limits for confined spaces? The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, sets the permissible exposure limit, PEL for CO2 at 5,000 parts per million ppm, over an 8-hour work shift. However, OSHA recommends that workers avoid exposure to concentrations of CO2 above 1,000 parts per million to minimize the risk of adverse health effects. Similarly, the Saudi Arabian oil company, Aramco, has established a maximum allowable concentration MAC, of 5,000 parts per million for CO2 in confined spaces. Aramco also requires continuous monitoring of CO2 levels in these areas and provides workers with appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, to prevent exposure to harmful levels of CO2. It's important to note that the CO2 limits for confined spaces may vary depending on the specific workplace and the nature of the work being performed. Employers should conduct a hazard assessment and implement appropriate controls to ensure that workers are not exposed to hazardous levels of CO2 or other harmful substances. Q5. What are carbon monoxide limits? Carbon monoxide limits refer to the maximum concentration of carbon monoxide that is allowed in the air to ensure worker safety and comfort. Aramco's life saving rules and OSHA recommend maintaining CO concentrations below 50 parts per million over an 8 hour workday, with OSHA recommending a more conservative limit of 35 parts per million. Employers should monitor CO levels in the workplace and take appropriate measures to protect workers, including implementing engineering controls providing PPE, and ensuring proper training. Q6. What are the key safety points for confined space work? A. Atmospheric gas testing must be conducted by a certified gas tester using only gas monitor equipment. In accordance with GI 2.709 requirements prior to initiating work activities in a confined space. A confined space. B. Other potential toxic gas concentrations are at or below their threshold limit value, TLV. C. Never attempt a rescue unless you are trained and equipped to properly perform a rescue. D. Never use CO2 fire extinguishers inside confined spaces because they can displace breathing air. E. Never use plant air or engine driven compressed air to ventilate. F. Hot work is not permitted if the atmosphere is above 0% level. In Part 1 to Part 4. We address the following questions related to confined space entry, hazards, testing, and limits, equipment, questions and answers from OSHA slash NFPA slash Aramco guidelines. 1. What is the definition of confined space as per OSHA? 2. Who is considered a confined space competent person? 3. What are the different types of confined spaces? 4. What is a confined space ticket and why is it necessary? 5. What are the common confined space hazards and how can they be controlled? 6. What are the specific confined space hazards that need to be considered for entry? 7. What are some best practices for confined space entry and work? 8. What is the importance of testing confined spaces before entry? 9. What are the oxygen level requirements for confined spaces? 10. What are the symptoms of oxygen deficiency in a confined space? 11. What are the gas limits for confined spaces as per OSHA and Aramco? 12. What are the temperature limits for confined spaces? 13. What are the CO2 limits for confined spaces? 14. What are the CO limits for confined spaces? 15. 
What are the explosive limits for confined spaces? 16. What testing equipment is necessary for confined space entry? 17. What kind of lighting is required for confined space work? 18. What is the minimum lighting lux level required for confined spaces? 19. What kind of gas tester is necessary for confined space entry? 20. What kind of fire extinguisher is required for confined space work? 21. What is a confined space rescue kit and what does it contain? 22. What is a confined space tripod and how is it used? 23. What is a confined space oxygen meter and how is it used? 24. What are the requirements for communication devices in confined spaces? 25. What is a confined space barrier system and how is it used? 26. What is a confined space tripod winch system and how is it used? 27. What is a confined space retrieval system and how is it used? 28. What are the accessories that can be used with a confined space tripod? One request to all kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel The Innerkin for more exciting videos.